Hey guys, and welcome to this video, which I thought I had to make after a bunch of questions reached me over the last couple of days with regards to the direction that I want to take my channel in over the next couple of weeks and months. Some people were worried that now that I have uploaded two videos that actually featured some Warhammer stuff, this channel might turn into a, a Warhammer or mini painting channel. And that they had to unsubscribe because they subscribed to this channel because this is an armor model channel. Here's the thing. This is not going to be a Warhammer or mini painting channel. Just as well as this is not gonna, going to be a pure armor model channel in the future. Like I said in the last video that I made. Um, only building armor kits kind of drained me. Kind of made me realize that I needed something else. That I was not fulfilled. It was just the same process over and over again. Start a kit, build a kit, start painting a kit, put it away. Never finish it. And that really, both mentally and financially, drained me. To be honest, the, the, these dragon kits or the, the other kits on the market, this is a TACOM right here, they're expensive things. They're like 60 euros each. And if you start them, only to never finish them, and then eventually throw them away, this is just way too expensive. And I did not want that to be the case anymore. And so I thought, what can I do to change this? What can I do to make more interesting, more focused, and more compelling content? And what can I do to make my hobby still be enjoyable? Because sitting down on the bench was not enjoyable anymore for me. Because I knew what was going to happen eventually. I knew that I was starting something only to never finish it. And when I look on my shelf of doom, this becomes obvious each and every day. There are so many kits that I love building, just have never any intention of painting because I was so fed up with Panzer Grey or German Tritone Camel. It was just annoying me. And I never felt like they were looking good, so I always had to redo them and then they looked terrible because the paint got too thick. So I just decided to just either bend them or not finish them at all. And I did not want that to continue like this because that's just not what I do. And because of that, I felt like the content that I put out got worse and worse. And I saw the number of viewers decline and the amount of time you guys watch the videos for decline. And I thought something had to change. Not because I was all for the money, but because I felt like my content was letting you guys down and I was letting you guys down. With regards to the money, I don't know if my two patrons have already realized I've shut down my Patreon. I felt like I just said that my content was not worth being paid for. Which is why I closed down my Patreon. I will not be reopening it. It's just not an avenue that I have the time or energy to, to go down. Because on the one hand, you need to create patron exclusive content. Otherwise, it's just no value for the people to just pay for something that they could just get for free. And while I appreciate each and every one of you who supported me via my Patreon, I still felt like you guys paid for something that you shouldn't have paid for. Because let's be real, the videos that I put out were always the same kind of rinse and repeat cycle. It was the same things I did over and over again. The quality was lacking, the camera work was lacking, the editing was, well, bad. The sound quality had improved a bit because of the off-camera mic that I used, like the voiceover stuff, but I was still not happy with voiceover. So, what did I do? Well, I upgraded my camera. I used to use this. This is a Panasonic Full HD HCV 180. I upgraded to a Canon EOS M50, which I'm using to film this video right now. I also upgraded my desk lighting with this beautiful thing here. I bought a softbox. I will be buying a second softbox. And I bought this thing right here, which is actually a Rode 
microphone arm, a microphone thingy that you can put over your desk if you want to record sound. I bought an adapter so now I can put my camera on there and I can shoot overhead or I can have the camera next to my face while I'm doing something so I can still look at the miniature or the, the tank or whatever I'm building and painting and you guys actually get the same camera perspective as I am looking at the thing. So the shots will be a lot more advanced and you will actually see what I'm doing, not like on my live stream where I realized that the shot was so often out of the camera that I am thinking of taking the live stream down because let's face it, you cannot see what I'm doing most of the time, so that's annoying. What else have I decided to do? Well, I have decided to do to stop with this stupid scheduling thing. I really try to force myself to put out a video every week. And I managed to do that up until November, shortly before my child was born. After my child was born, I realized this is not going to be the way I want to take this endeavor, this YouTube channel into. Because let's face it, I can't promise anything. Because the most important thing for me right now is spending time with my child and my wife. A long, 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 long time after that comes modeling and hobby. Trust me, I still enjoy it and I still am going to do it. It's just going to be, when do I have the time? When do I have the opportunity? And when do I want to? And if I have a schedule, like I want to release a video every Sunday, I can just not do either spend quality time with my child or produce the content to the quality level that I myself wanted to be. I'm a perfectionist. I want things to be great. I want things to be good. And if they are bad, I always feel bad, even if I put them out there. I've gone through a lot of my old videos and just deleted them from YouTube because I felt like they were absolute horse crap. Same with my builds. If they are not up to par, they go down into the bin or they are sold off eBay. I've sold so many tanks on eBay, I just like it's ridiculous. And I don't want that to happen ever again. I want the stuff that I built to be around. I want to look at the stuff that I built and be happy and feel like, okay, I achieved something. I did something that looked good. This is what I wanted. And I can't achieve that if I put pressure on myself with a schedule. And I feel like I'm doing these where am I going with this channel videos way too often lately because I have had to reassign my course so often that I want to take. But I've recently realized what I really want. I want to produce high quality content that is a joy to watch that you guys can get something from, yeah, learn something, get ideas, pick up something, maybe even inspire me. Because here's the thing, the number one thing why I'm doing this YouTube channel is not because I want to get out there, not because I need the exposure, not because I love to be in front of a camera or I love to talk or what have you. No, it's because I love to interact with you guys. And I appreciate each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel, who has watched my videos. I really appreciate each and every one. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the likes. I even appreciate the, 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 the dislikes. I love personal interaction. During the pandemic right now, we can't have that as much as we would like with our friends and family and, and people around, workplace, what have you. So you guys basically are my sub substitute family, my substitute working environment. My substitute friends. With you, I can still interact in a way. Why are YouTube? Why are the comments? Why are my videos? Why are the community page? What have you? And I don't want to get rid of this. And I really want this. I need this. So, what I think will happen. Yes, there will be Warhammer content. Yes, I will be painting figures. Yes, maybe I will take you to a game of Warhammer once in a while when I play with a friend and I'll shoot a couple of video sequences of us playing. Why not? But yes, I will still be doing kit reviews. I will still be building kits. I will still be building dioramas. Of course, dioramas will be scaled back even more because of space issues. I don't have space to display them right now. So if I build a dio, it's going to be once in, one in a year, if that. I will have standalone tanks. That's basically all I have space for right now. But they will happen. And there will not be airplane models. I can already promise you that because I hate airplane models. I hate them so much with the vengeance. 
because I can't just make them look good. There will not be any ship models because I hate rigging. That's why there won't be any biplanes either. And there won't be cars and motorbikes and stuff like this. It's just not what I like. I like tanks, I like trucks, like war vehicle trucks. And I like these little Warhammer managers. And I, for some reason, feel like they re-energize me. Because they have a purpose. I need them to play the game. If I don't have them done, I cannot play the game. So the purpose of them is to finish them. Is to get them out. Is to make sure they look good. Is to put them on the battlefield. And so I'm forced to get them done. And that has kind of re-energized me, repur repurposed me. I now have a clear purpose. And I want that to be the same for my tanks. So, what I can already promise you guys, especially my armor friends, the next video you are going to see on this channel is this one, right here. The Panzer 4 H, early mid. I will be doing a kit review of that, and I will be putting that, that out either today or tomorrow. This is a great Border Models kit. It got to me in December, after I pre-ordered that in June. So it arrived in December, and it comes with some add-on figures, and I really look forward to building this down the road, don't know when yet, because I have to get some aftermarket for that, but I will talk to you about that in the video, more, more you know, in detail. And of course, as you can already also see, there's some Warhammer 40k stuff there that we will be also looking at in the near future. But like I said, don't know when. I just hope that my subscribers are still going to stick around, because I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope maybe I can attract a couple more people to my channel who like to do or who like to see what I do and who like to interact with me as well. And I hope that the direction that I take this channel into over the next couple of months, maybe years, is going to be something positive, not just for me, but also for you. And I hope that improved video quality and reduced video quantity it's going to make the viewing experience an even better one and make you guys even happier after watching my videos. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for listening to me talk for 12 minutes again over about a topic that we've discussed on multiple occasions on this channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're healthy. Stay safe. May the force be with you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Hollywood Modeling. Bye, guys.